Hi Aries, Leo and Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. So we're going to be taking a look at and see um, what your romantic energy is telling others about you, okay? As always, these are going to be general messages, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So we'll give the cards a shuffle. We'll also be using the angel answers here to close the reading, but let's see what your person is telling others about you here. Oh wow, look at that. You've got a lot of water energy here. So some of you I feel like are dealing with um, quite an emotional water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I feel like the two of you are quite emotionally connected here. You've also got the devil here. Oh, okay. Um, your person may be someone who is the Four of Cups, maybe someone who's acting quite distant, um, or you feel as though they come across distant here. Okay. Um, either this is because I'm getting the notion of games with the devil. Either this is a game, they're playing mind games, so, you know, treat them mean, keep them keen kind of energy, or act disinterested, but really they're into you. Um, I feel like, yeah, this, they're purposely, they're either playing this, like they're either coming across as though they're disinterested or they're coming across as, you know, very cool, calm and collected, but inside they're a bit of a mess and inside I can see it's like, for a lot of you, I feel like this person is trying to um, assert a level of dominance over you and of the connection. And this person is trying to play the, you know, um, it's like they're trying to get you to uh, chase them here. They're running because they want you to keep chasing. They're playing hard to get is what I'm, is what I'm trying to get at. Okay. Um, what are they telling others about you here? Um, they open up to their friends or family a lot. There's someone here who I feel like connecting energies around them who I feel like they're quite open and vulnerable with this person. Um, and they can be, yes, yeah, I feel like they're like, they spill like a can of beans to this individual. So they do talk about you a lot here. Um, with the Ace of Cups, this person I feel like has a very strong emotional connection towards you. This person could potentially be in love with you. Um, or is falling in love with you or this is someone who has very strong romantic feelings for you there's a dark setting around this person so I feel like there's some sort of toxicity either this person is someone who indulges in toxic substance and this is therefore um, impacting the relationship in a negative way or I feel like the two of you are toxic to one, for one another there's quite an addictive quality to the devil so your person I feel like has an obsession here okay your person could potentially be spying on you, like spying on your social media. They could be constantly, um, there's like a jealous, sense of jealousy or possessiveness with your person, which again, I feel like ties into the whole, you know, mind games and mind control aspect. Um, your person does, def they definitely talk about you. And as I've mentioned, there are connecting energies around your individual um, who are very, like, they're quite, they're very good support, uh, emotional support system. So there's a lot of, like, they're quite um, the shoulder to cry on, you know, the listening ear here. You're, with the Ace of Cups, I get your person is very overwhelmed right now. I'm also seeing that your person has having, is having a lot of regrets. Now, Three of Cups here, the three, the focus on the Three of Cups here, the three characters here. A very strong party um, association here. So your person, I feel like, has regrets over how they've acted here because whether, to an extent, whether you know it or not, some of you, I feel like, are quite, um, you've had intuitive feelings about this, but I'm seeing that your person might have been involved in a third-party situation. They may have lied to you. They may have betrayed you. They may have even cheated on you here, okay? And I feel like your person has deeper regrets. Now, either your person has communicated this to you, and if they do, they still, they still haven't healed or moved on from this. They still haven't moved past the fact that, you know, they've hurt you in the way in which they have, or, you know, that they still regret doing this. They still regret choosing someone else over you or choosing, you know, this other connection over yours here. Um, your person is going through something quite emotionally um, turbulent here, or your situation is quite emotionally turbulent, but they keep coming back to you or they'll 
continue to come back to you so if the two of you are separated it's very likely that this person here is going to come back into your life how could they not the two of you are quite addicted to one another it's like you know they're a fiend for your love okay your, your love is like a drug it's all intoxicating all consuming to them and um, they're not ready to quit not now not like this so your person will come back into the picture here They're obsessed by you. I feel like this person thinks about you obsessively. They talk about you obsessively, even without them knowing. I feel like your name just sort of naturally rolls off their tongue. This person talks about you a lot. Um, they think about you a lot. They dream about you a lot. They fantasize you about, about you a lot. It's this obsessive, addictive quality to this spread here. Okay, so this is someone who... And again, just they may be acting disinterested or they may be acting cold and distant. If they are water energy, water energies have a um, sometimes have a tendency to come across this way. It's only because they are emotionally sensitive and they have a tendency to protect their emotional fragility here. Um, however, I feel like for the most part, this is someone who is acting, you know, acting mean. In, in a way to try and get you to stay keen on them um, and it's, this is someone who's playing hard to get this also I feel like is quite reflective of a twin flame connection in which you know uh, the DM here I feel like the divine masculine here is doing the running okay they're doing the running um, and again it's because they want you to do the chasing here that feeds their ego okay it nourishes their ego here Okay, um, something here, I feel like th there's something here that might have happened between the two of you recently and it might have been this third party situation or there might have been something that happened between you and your romantic energy and I feel like they've had quite an emotional response to this. So your person, I feel like I, it's almost like they're crying here or they're being really... Um, they feel like they've let you down or they feel as though they've been really let down by something here. And it's I, I see your person getting consoled a lot. It's like they're trying to, um, they, they're talking about a lot about what has happened here and they talk about you a lot here. And But it's almost like they have the energy he has to um, try and remain calm here because they're working themselves up about something here. They, they cry a lot. They cry a lot or this is someone who's quite emotional here over what's happened here or what's going on between the two of you. I'm going to give the Angel Answers card a shuffle here and just see what they say for you here about your person. Okay, so you can't sort of you're right, you've got weight, you've got perfect perfect timing, and it's up to you. Okay, wait. So if the two of you are currently going through something, it's probably best to give each other some time and some distance here to sort of work through some things and to get into a better headspace before you actually reach out and con connect with each other. Perfect timing. Um, now, this is interesting with the perfect timing, but I feel like everything will come together here. Everything will come in alignment here in perfect timing. So... Timing is everything. You can determine whether this will work out or whether this relationship, you know, will fail. So <clears throat> wait, because something will unfold here in perfect timing, but you need to wait for it. So give it a little bit longer, a few days, a few weeks, or potentially even a few months. It's up to you. Ultimately, it's up to the two of you whether or not this connection succeeds or whether this connection fails. Okay. Um, it's up to you here. I'm also seeing that it's also, it's up to your, your person's energy feels as though you're in control, okay? They want to be in control and they want to seem like they're in control, but ultimately they feel as though, you know, you decide whether this works or not, or you decide if the two of you stay. Because I feel like, you know, they run because they want you to chase, but ultimately... I feel like it's your person who's got the submissive energy here. They want to come across as, you know, all dominant and in control, but I feel like their energy is submissive to yours here. And they feel as though it's up to you. You're, you called the shots here. And I feel like the two of you know it. 
even they don't like even if they don't like to admit to it okay and these are your messages thank you for watching and listening please show your support by subscribing to the channel um liking sharing commenting i will be sharing with you more tarot love messages stay tuned thanks guys again bye for now